Ireland has become and continues to be one of the best mixed martial artist prospect producing nation on the heels of one of the greatest combat sport athletes of all time in Conor McGregor. Bantamweight Callan Loughran has tons of potential and tries to become another champion, this time in the Bantamweight division. Undefeated until just recently, he captured Golden Cage Warriors after an eight-fight win streak and took on a touted prospect in enemy territory, showing off some of his charisma and willingness to ex entertain fans with his antics before the fight. But without further ado, let's get into his career highlights for today's video. Oh, Till's out! It's over! My it's over! It's over! It's what I'm saying, boy! Oh! He gets it's over! It's over, Munoz! Oh, my God! Lofren has pretty significant amateur experience. Taking on nine opponents, he took home seven of the results with six finishes, taking fights in Northern Ireland, Scotland, and more across the UK and Europe. He captured three amateur titles at Bantamweight for Almighty Fighting Championship, Clan Wars, and Cage Legacy. During the initial phase of his career, he prominently displayed his stand-up skills, complemented by a dynamic wrestling style based on power and cardio, influenced by UFC veteran Mike and Grundy. However, what truly captivated audiences and got him on the hype train was his pre-fight theatrics and unwavering confidence derived from his relentless dedication behind the scenes in the training rooms, which translated seamlessly to his performances inside the cage, resulting in an undefeated run. His success as an amateur would translate over to his pro career, and he would reel off four straight wins before being noticed by Cage Warriors Fighting Championship, where he would get some of the best matchups across Europe. Loughran would debut at Cage Warriors in April of 2022, and he would win three straight against a combined opponent record of 16 and three. He would finish all three opponents in the second round, being placed around the card, starting on the prelims, moving up to the co-main event and main card before getting his main event opportunity at the end of his Cage Warriors career. The undefeated Irishman, having finished all but one opponent, would get his shot at the Cage Warriors title in his swan song for the organization. A highly anticipated bout, two undefeated fighters with a dislike for each other, and he would take on Dylan Azan. The first round would provide a ton of entertainment. Both landing significant shots, Loughran with a beautiful front kick and Hazan landing his own boxing combinations. In the second round, however, the powerful Loughran would prove once again that he was UFC ready, landing a beautiful combination with an uppercut on the end of it, dropping his fellow undefeated fighter and giving him no time to recover. An emotional Loughran would cap off his four-fight professional run in the Cage Warriors cage with a bantamweight championship. His UFC debut would be next up, and Loughran would be told the good news about the UFC debut in a place he feels home, his gym. For his debut, they would set him up in extremely hostile France against an opponent with nearly three times the professional experience. A striker versus wrestler matchup, Taylor Lapulis was coming in with a kickboxing background, but Loughran showing again that charisma and willingness to be the heel was flipping off the crowd at weigh-ins and taking to Twitter to let all of French MMA know how much they suck. However, when the fight began and the walkouts were over, Lapulis took the first round, keeping the fight on the feet and using his length of his jab and sharp counters on Loughran entries. The round did end with a Loughran takedown, but it was little too late to get anything significant for himself in the round. The second round, however, started much like the first, and Loughran got the takedown with much more time to work this time. Showcasing beautiful leg ties made famous by the dominant style of Habib Nurmagomedov, he was able to steal this round on all three judges' scorecards with the damage from top control, even with Lapulis getting back to his feet with about one minute left in the round. The third round, however, the story was the lack of success on the Loughran takedown attempts. Lapulis, who was also the more impressive striker throughout the bout, remained on his feet, stopping eight takedowns in just the third round, and again landing a majority of the strikes. Loughran would suffer his first defeat on the judges' scorecards, but again, there was nothing to hang his head about, taking on opponent at 18-3 and three while he was only 8-0, and, oh. and in the performance, Loughran showcased not only toughness, but an ability cardio-wise to go all three rounds and even with all the takedown attempts and all the forward pressure while eating counters he didn't look any more exhausted at the end of the fight as he did at the beginning Loughran has tons of potential in the bantamweight division to go very very far let me know your opinion of him in the comments section below and let me know who you might want to see next for a career highlight video 